Hello, my beautiful pile number ones. Today's reading is going to be What Do People Secretly Think About You? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay. Thank you guys so much for being here. So, we're going to hop right on into this reading. All right. So, what do people secretly think about pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. What do people secretly think about pile number one? What do, what do people secretly think about pile number one? Please make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What do people secretly think about pound number one? What do people secretly think about pound number one? Give me one more card for pound number one. One more card for pound number one. Just one, please. One card for one more card for pound number one. What do people secretly think about pound number one? Okay, um, and we have purpose at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like what people secretly think, because we have success, honesty, and we have judgment. Um, first of all, I've been using this word a lot lately in my readings. If you've been watching, you know, back to back from when I upload, um, whoever picked this pile, I feel like you're in a state of trans transformation, very transformative right now, changing, uh, maturing as well. Um, some of you, even your birthday could have recently just passed not too long ago. Um, but I feel like what people secretly think about you is I feel like, uh, people think that you're going to be very successful or you are on a road to success um you could be successful in this current moment i feel like um i feel like people think that like i said even if you're like on a road to success that you should be successful like you you deserve a lot of good things that come towards you you deserve a lot of good blessings because of how you are we have the honesty card here Honesty and judgment is just giving me, like, like I said, you're someone that has matured. You have changed a lot. Very transformative. Grew up. Okay? People secretly think that, you know, you're very bl um, blunt, straightforward. Um, I feel like you tell it how it is. You don't beat around the bush. You're not one of those people that sits there and try to sugarcoat anything to make anybody feel good or anything like that. And I feel like that's what people secretly think about you. Um, with this judgment card, I, I hear that some people may find you to be judgmental, but it's not that you're being judgmental. It's that you're keeping it real. Like, you're being honest about your opinion, you know? Um, I feel like... Even when you do say your honest opinion, I, I don't I don't think that you ever intend to make anybody feel any type of way. I feel like some people may even think that you are bougie or you act like you're better than other people. And I don't feel like that's what you... Some of you probably do, but I don't really feel like that's your intentions. You're not trying to sit there and be like, yeah, I'm the best of the best at the top of the top. No. It's just that, you know, you work for what you got. So when you work for certain things, it's like... Like... like Let's say, for instance, like, let's say Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Like, Beyonce can say and do um, certain things because she worked her way to where she's at. You know, she um, she's a legend because of the things that she do, her stats and stuff like that. So, I feel like what people secretly think about you is that, you know, you think you're Beyonce or you're above and beyond. And it's not that. It's the fact that you've been through certain things so you have extra knowledge, you know? You have extra information. And I feel like you judge certain people that are around you because you like like-minded people around you. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's get some tarot. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What do people secretly think about pile number one? What do people secretly think about pile number one? What do people secretly think about pile number one, universe? What do people secretly think about pile number one? What do people secretly think about pile number one? Excuse me. What do people secretly think about pile number one? People secretly think about pound number one. What do people secretly think about pound number one? Give me another card. Give me two more cards for pound number one. People secretly think about pound number one. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. We have the two of wands. We have the ace of swords. We have the two of wands, the ace of swords. We also, oh, shit. We have the two of cups, which is Cancer's energy. Okay, the two of cups, Cancer's energy. We also have the Hierophant, um, Taurus energy, ace of cups, some more water energy, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have the chariot, which is equivalent or uh, Cancer's energy. And we also have the eight of wands here. So I feel like what people secretly think about you is basically what I was saying, but continuing on, right? 
I definitely feel like um, with the two of wands being here, I feel like people um, secretly think that, you know, you have a lot of plans. You have plan A, plan B. If something doesn't work out, you always have another option. You're someone that keeps, you like to keep yourself busy. And I feel like you like to secure the bag. You know, at all times. If money is calling, you're going to be there. If someone, like, you, you, I hope that makes sense. But that's what people secretly think about you. If it's not money, if it's not, like, a family member, if it's not a life for death situation, you're not picking up that phone, you're not answering that phone. You know what I mean? Anytime that you are on your phone, it's about that bag. It's about money. It's about, you know, anything that will help you evolve, you know? But the two of wands being here. I feel like people secretly think that, like I said, you're always trying to secure a bag, secure a situation, a job, something like that. You're always working. You're not. Ever, you're never not working. Um, with the Ace of Swords being here, like I said, with the um, honesty card, I feel like you're someone that's very um, verbal about your opinion. You speak, um, and it's, I was about to say, you speak knowledge into people. I feel like some people may look at you like, damn, you know, pound number one's a damn preacher, always trying to talk to me about some shit, always trying to, you know, implement certain shit. I feel like you're very knowledgeable. You have a, a lot of um, a lot of knowledge. Like you've been through a lot of things, or you could be someone that's very well educated. You went to college, um, even high school diploma. Like, you're just someone that is very knowledgeable, you know, a lot of things. I feel like, like I said before, you tell it how it is. That's how people secretly think about you. Sometimes it can be very cutthroat. Sometimes the truth can be very harsh. But you tell people what it is because with the Two of Cups being here, you love these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you love the people that are around you, even though they may think that, you know, pile number one, you know, it's kind of harsh and it's kind of heavy how you be talking to people but at the end of the day they know that it comes from a place of love excuse me it comes from a place of love and you just want to see people be better see people do better okay with the two of cups being here i feel like what people secretly think about you is if it's like on a, a romantic side people want to be in a relationship with you people want to be committed to you but on a, a pl more platonic situation i feel like um, people secretly think that you are pure of love okay you're pure love like it's not fake it's not um it's not inauthentic like you're not trying it's a very authentic love i feel like that's what people secretly think about you it's like what you're given because we have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um a lot of you could definitely have some type of control issues or you are someone that is very much of a boss like you don't and some of you may not even like authority because you are the authority. But I feel like with the um, Two of Cups, like I was saying prior to, you give what is being given to you. Like I said with the Six of Pentacles, you give what is being given to you. If someone is giving you a cup of love and you love that person, you're going to give it back. So if someone is needing something from you or whatever the case is, and they have that same type of energy where if you needed something, they doing it. You know what I mean? But I just feel like um, what people secretly think about you is definitely a, it's a protected love. Like, they have to love you. Like, it's a sacred love. You, it's the, the love that you have is not something. It's This is, like, a dime a dozen type of situation. Okay? With the Hurricane being here, like, the same thing with the Ace of Swords. You're very someone that's, uh, you're someone that's very knowledgeable, very mature. I feel like you're someone that's very stable. I feel like a lot of people like to listen to you. A lot of people praise you for the things that you've been through in the past or, you know, um, your education or, you know, some type of, I don't know why I'm hearing soul ties, like some type of, like the connections that you may have and what you may, like exactly what you bring to the table, period. And I feel like that's what people secretly think about you, that you have a lot of, um, a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of knowledge, okay? You are the, you like a teacher, that's what people secretly think about you. Um, with the Ace of Cups being here, um, like I said prior to, like you're very lovable. Like you're gonna offer people a cup of love. Sometimes you may work, even wear your heart on this on your sleeve. Okay, that's what people secretly think about you. That you wear your heart on your sleeve and like um, um, like I said, you're very uh, authentic. So it's like automatically, someone is gonna be having your like be given your your real true love. You know what I'm saying? Like if you love somebody, you're gonna be very vocal about it. But at the end of the day. I'm also feeling with the Ace of Cups, like, you love yourself a lot. You love yourself a lot. I feel like with the Chariot car, some of you may also be, um, like, really fast drivers or really slow drivers. There's something about your driving that people may, um, may talk about or think about. Like, maybe, like I said, you either drive slow or you could drive reckless or something like that. Or you could be someone that tends to move on fairly quickly or move fast or move, um, 
pass the situation fairly quickly. You know, I feel like you have a lot of control of what goes on around you because I feel like um, those of you that pick pound number one, I, I feel like you definitely know that um, you control and you can create, you can create your own reality. With the eight of wands being the overall energy, like I said, you are definitely someone that's very well connected. I feel like a lot of blessings tend to come to you because you deserve it because you're very humble and you're real and your love is very authentic and you're not trying to fake it until you make it. Okay. Um, Let's get this. Make these messages as clear as possible. I just want two cards. What do um, people secretly think about pile number one? What do people secretly think about pile number one? Give me two cards for pile number one. Give me another card. And that 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 makes um that makes potential. That I can't even talk. That makes sense. Um, it's basically what I was already saying. We have number twelve boundaries and number twenty four um protection. I feel like you you can be someone that's very um divinely protected. Your love is very divinely protected, and um I feel like you're a person like of course you may have gotten hurt in the past and stuff like that, but you. What people secretly think about you, this I don't know. Like you have like your your soul tribe or your spiritual guides. Like they always guide you to the right person or the right people, place, things, things of that nature. Things that's gonna actually pour into you. I feel like that's what people secretly think. I think people are secretly jealous of how people love you as well. Um, I feel like another thing that people secretly think about you is that you have a lot of boundaries or healthy boundaries or just like like I said, just boundaries in general. Like you don't like people knowing too much about your business or information, things like that. Um, you don't like stirring the pot too much. But pile number one, that's all I have. I really do hope that it resonated. I know it was pretty quick, and I hope it wasn't too much all over the place. Let me know in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys in the next read. Peace Hello, out, my beautiful pile number twos. Today's reading is going to be, what do people secretly think about you? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Kay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. Also, donating to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Also, booking readings with me. You guys have been keeping me booked and busy. I'm very grateful for that as well. But we're going to hop right on into your reading, okay? Okay, we're going to find out what people secretly think about you. Make these messages as clear as possible. What do people secretly think about pile number two? What do people secretly think about pile number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Oh. We have... What the fuck? Okay, the card that's been acting wild is patience. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Sheesh. Okay, some of you could be very impulsive. Because what the fuck? Very impulsive. You do things very sporadically. I feel like that's what people secretly think about you. What do people secretly think about pile number two? What do people secretly think about pile number two? Some of you may have ADHD because I keep hearing the Kendrick Lamar song, ADHD. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. What is pound number... Or you just don't like to sit still for a long time? What do people secretly think about pound number two? We have perseverance at the bottom, bottom of the deck. So we have patience, death, and we also have relationships. So I feel like what people secretly think about you is that I, I think... Because patience... That card was, like, just everywhere. I feel like people may think that you, like I said, you're impulsive. Um, you do things sporadically, and you may not have any patience, like, literally. Because when I first put it on the table, it came out in reverse, right? Um, I feel like even though in the back of your head, you know, like, all right, it's best for me to wait and not, you know, not do too much, not complain about certain things or... Um, um, wait for divine timing to like kick in or whatever the case is. You know, you you like to leave things in God's hands. If those of you that do believe in God or leave it in universe hands or spirit, however, you know. All right. But I feel like what people secretly think about you is that you don't have patience. You don't like wait and you don't want to wait. You know, when you want something done, you want something done right now, especially if it's something that should be or could be done right fucking now. Okay. Even when certain things is out of your hand, it's like, even though you know it's out of your hands, you just like my man's like I, st I still want this shit done right now <laughs> okay so with the death card it says i am learning that and this are merely beginnings i definitely do feel like um people 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 secretly think that um um it's like i feel like you're okay because i don't know why i'm getting this but i feel like you're okay with things ending you're okay with moving on you're okay with finding something better you know i'm um, finding a, the brighter side of certain situations but once you're done like you're finito like that's what people secretly think about you it's like it's the death of, of a situation like I, like i said you don't have a lot of patience for a lot of situations so it's like if things are not going in 
your direction or if it's like it feels like it's not not serving you or if it's feel like it's not getting any better you're in it so something new could come into your life or something better could come into your life i don't feel like you're ever just sitting here thinking like yeah all right fuck this person blah 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 something new i know something better gonna happen no it's just that it's like if you have or you have a um firm boundaries there's certain things that you like certain things that you don't like and you have been very vocal about that and you've been real about that type of stuff and people still tend to disrespect you you'll definitely be like all right you know that's that's it it's, it's only but so much I, i'm really feeling like in this pile you guys don't really argue too much so it's like if you have to get angry you have to argue in your head it's like uh, that's too much for me okay so we have relationships we said i'm attracted to those people who um who serve my higher good like i said about the low vibrational people people that's not serving your um that's not even that's not serving you in no way stay the um noise i can't talk i'm so sorry if they're not serving your highest good in any way shape or form is just like it is what it is you know i feel like you have a lot of good relationships because of your healthy boundaries and how you want people to treat you and people treat you like how you want to be treated people respect how you want want to be treated i feel like that's how people that's what that's what people secretly think about you you know your connections are very strong because of the boundaries and the rules and regulations that you may have set for yourself and you don't want nobody breaking those rules or regulations or you know feeling like they can step out of pocket when it comes to you like in a disrespect in a disrespectful type of manner i hope that makes sense child hope that makes sense make these messages as fast as possible what do people secretly think about pound number two what do people secretly think about pound number two please make these messages as clear as possible what do people secretly think about pound number two We have the seven of pentacles. What do people secretly think about pile number two? What do people secretly think about pile number two? People secretly think about pile number two. <clears throat> okay. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Give me one more card. Three of Cups, the bottom of the deck. We have the Devil card. We also have here the Five of Wands. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Page of, of Wands, the Justice card, Libra Energy. We also have um, um, the Empress. That's Libra and Taurus Energy. Yeah, Libra and, Libra and Taurus. We also have the World card, which is other fixed signs. Aquarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Okay, yeah. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is, if I'm not mistaken, is that Cancer's Energy? Three of Cups is, yeah, Cancer's energy, and then we have the Devil card, Capricorn energy. So I feel like what people secretly think about you is definitely with the Seven of Pentacles, you're definitely someone that, um, um, everything has to be longevity. Like, you have friends that you have, have had for a very long time. I feel like you're one of those people that you don't tend to cut people off too much, so it's like when you do cut them off, that's why, it's, that's it, that's all, you know, with the Death card being here. That's what people secretly think about you, that you actually like to nourish certain situations too, even when, um... You feel like, let's say, you could be one of those people that, that tends to, like, texting people first or calling people or hitting them up. It doesn't have to be. If, it, if you don't do it, then you don't do it. But I feel like you are that type of person, especially when it feels like, you know, a person's being distant or, you know, someone feels like they are out in the cold or something like that. It's like you tend to be like, all right, let me, let me see how you, this person is doing. Let me see what this, that, and third, blah, 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 blah. I feel like what people secretly think about you is it can either because I'm, I'm kind of feeling like it's vice versa. Sometimes I feel like, you know, whoever's watching this pile number two, you can be someone that tends to be very detached. Sometimes you don't tell too many people your business or your secrets and stuff like that. So that's what people secretly think about you. Like I have to hit up pile number two to see how pile number two is doing, because if I don't, then, you know, they won't. With the page of wands being here, um, like I said, you could be someone that's very sporadic. You could be someone that's very um, spontaneous, things of that nature. That's what I get when I um, see the page of wands because the page of wands is, the page in general is about, you know, younger, maybe sometimes a little bit immature. It doesn't have to be, but you know, it could be. I just feel like what people secretly think about you is that sometimes with the business endeavors and things that you do and connections that you have, you tend to be like, all right, fuck it. I'm done with it. And 
prematurely before you even see if somebody's gonna change or be, do better you'll be on the road for something else or for something more suitable for you or just better in general in your opinion right um with the justice card being here i definitely do feel like people um what people secretly think about you is that you come into their life at a, a it's like with the justice card, I just feel like you could be someone that comes in people's life after a karmic situation, or you are one of those people that people tend to come to you about certain, um, they, like, they always want your opinion. They always want, like, you are, like, the tiebreaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are the the naysayer. Like, if you sit there and be like, all right, I like this, this, and this, and depending on who's talking or who's listening, they be like, yeah, that, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what people secretly think about you. Like, you are... I feel like you're very neutral. Like, you're not someone that's um, judgmental. You're not someone that is, like... I was about to say judging people, the same thing as judgmental. But you're not one of those people that do that type of shit, you know? I feel like you are someone that's pretty fair when it comes to certain stuff. And I feel like that's what people secretly think about you. And that's why a lot of people like to talk to you and tell you their business. And that's why people like to, you know, get your opinion, you know? Stuff like that. But the Empress card being here, I feel like people secretly think that you could be pregnant, your wife... Um, you know, you are stepping in, you, you are, you can be very feminine if you are a, a masculine, masculine, excuse me, take it as it resonates. I feel like people find you very attractive, very abundant. Um, but I really feel more so like someone may, if you, people secretly think that you're pregnant, okay? Or that you could become pregnant sooner or later. I don't, that's what I'm getting. With the world card being here, I feel like people secretly think that you are someone that is very, very well connected. Um, very much stuck, um, stuck and set in your ways. Um, I feel like with the, cause you know, she's all naked and stuff like that. I feel like what people secretly think about you is that you could be very vulnerable with certain things. I don't know why I'm sitting here hearing I get around by Tupac. That's not even child. You could be someone that's very attractive, so people assume that you get around, or you could be someone that's very flirtatious. This is not even on purpose. You just be chatting. People think that you're flirting with them. So it's like, what people secretly think about you is that you get around. That's what I'm getting mostly with that card, okay? And then we got the Three of Cups. You're definitely someone that likes to celebrate and be around your friends and stuff like that. What people secretly think is that some, some people may even think that you drink too much, okay? I feel like you may have, like, a tight friend group, you know? It doesn't have to be, like... Friends, it could be your, your sisters and your parents and stuff like that because those could be your friends as well. But what people secretly think about you is that you have a lot of friends. Um, people think that you go out a lot. Um, even if you don't, you know, you go out a little bit. They think that you go out. They think that you like to have a good time. You like to have fun. Um, you like to, like, you know, be in, like, in a higher, a happier spirit. But the overall energy being a double card, I do feel like people think that you're toxic a little bit. Um, a little bit toxic. Um, maybe even a little bit controlling. Um, people may find you very addicting. People may also get very possessive of you, okay? Or they try to be very possessive of you. What people secretly think about you is that you are like... <laughs> The bottom of the deck is the five of wands. What people secretly think about you is like a lot of people are competing for your attention. A lot of people are competing to be around you. Now, this is just this platonic relationship, family-wise. Like, I feel like you are a lot of people's favorite person. Okay? What do people secretly think about pile number two? What do people secretly think about pile number two? Also, with the Three of Cups being here, take it as it resonates. I feel like there's a lot of people that are in relationships and they want you to be down with that. What people secretly think is that you like threesomes and you like that poly shit. Like, you, you like it. You know, you like to dibble and dabble in what you like to do. You like to have fun. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Please make these messages as clear as possible. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Okay, so we have number 13, Will, and we also have number 23, um, Gratitude. What people secretly think about you is you have the willpower to do whatever you want. You have the control. You are in control. People are very grateful to have the experience with you. People are grateful to, you know, be your friend. Like I said, people are really happy that they are around you. I feel like people um, tend to get very addicted to your energy when they do be around you on a consistent base, right? That's what people secretly think about you. I don't think this is bad at all, but... You got it, my beautiful pound number twos. If this resonated for you, please be sure to let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace out. Hello, my beautiful pound number threes. Last but not least, what do people secretly think about you? That will be the title of today's reading. Thank you guys so much for liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. Thank you guys for also donating. Um... And thank you guys for keeping me booked and busy because I have been very booked and very fucking busy. And I'm very grateful for that, okay? Thank you for trusting me with your reading. So we're going to hop right on into it, all right? 
What do people secretly think about pile number three? If you see me turning to the side, I'm reading the title so I won't forget. What do people secretly think about pile number three? Make these messages as fast as possible. What do people secretly think about pile number three? Okay. What do people secretly think about pile number three? What do people secretly think about pile number three? We have freedom. So this is very interesting, okay? So we have pride, humor, and we have blame, all right? So that's the cards that came out for you. I just feel like what people secretly think about you is, you know you know how Kevin Hart, if you guys are, you guys should be familiar with Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, Bernie Mac, because I was hearing Bernie Mac's voice in my head, right? I feel like people think that you play too much and that's because you can't put your pride to the side to apologize or you can't put your pride to the side for certain shit. So instead of you being like, I'm sorry, or, you know, like taking some ownership, you, you, you crack a joke. You know what I'm saying? If you're not cracking a joke, it's like you, you giving out some money, you giving out a gift card or something like that. That's what people secretly think about you, that you have too much pride to be like, I fucked up. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. We have blame, which says I accept responsibility for my well being, but I, I, I don't know how those two mesh with blame, but listen, okay? I feel like what people secretly think about you is that you tend to blame everybody else for your situation, but you don't take ownership. That's what people secretly think. That doesn't mean that's what it really fucking is. You feel me? But, um... Yeah, like, you don't take ownership for things that you've done or what you said and how you made a person feel and stuff like that. Um, I feel like sometimes your jokes can be um, a little bit harsh, a little bit too cutthroat for certain people. I don't know, some of you could be a comedian and you not, e not even know that you fucking a comedian or something like that. What do people simply think about pal number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What do people secretly think about I said pound number two. What do people secretly think about pound number three? What do people secretly think about pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible, please, universe. What do people secretly think about pound number three? What do people secretly think about pound number three? <gasps> Excuse me. What do people secretly think about pound number three? What do people secretly think about pile number three? What do people secretly think about pile number three? What do people secretly think about pile number three? Give me one more card. The overall energy for this pile is the High Priestess. Pisces energy at the bottom of the deck is the Moon card. Okay. Um, so we have the world card, the Ten of Pentacles. So let's throw out some zodiac signs. The Ten of Pentacles is um, Virgo energy. The Three of Wands is Aries energy. The Four of Cups is Cancer's energy. And the Four of Wands. The three of wands, four, okay. The four of wands is Aries energy, and the Hermit is Virgo energy. Okay. So what people secretly think about you. I don't know what you do, because I'm looking at the first thing I'm looking at is Ten of Pentacles. I don't know what you do, but I feel like you could be creating some type of, excuse me, some type of generational wealth. I don't know exactly what you could be doing, but you could be um, having some type of generational wealth, or you could have, like, a family that's very wealthy, or, you know... When I see the Ten of Pentacles, I always think about family, like, passing down some type of... Either you're getting, like, a, or you have a... What is it called? Like a trust fund. Um, that's what people secretly think about you. Like you were a silver spoon baby or whatever. And you didn't have to live the rough life. And who the fuck wants to live the rough life? I hate when people be like, oh, you don't know the struggle. I, I don't want to know the struggle. Like I don't want to know what struggling is. I know I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. You know, I hope that you don't have to continue to go through that struggle. I feel like that's the kind of person that you are. And I feel like what people secretly think about you is just like, you didn't even work for this and you ain't do that this down the third blah 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 not even know what the fuck your situation is because your family is because I, I feel like what us people secretly think is like i said that you have generational wealth um you have a trust fund <sighs> excuse me or like your family is doing like giving you money and stuff like that you could be using mommy and daddy's money 
That's what people secretly think about you. With the Three of Wands being here, I do feel like people think that you are a, a really big dreamer. You're someone that sees, um, you you may be someone that's very really slight dead set for your future like you focus in mostly on your future and what your life has to offer you know excuse me you could be waiting for something that's what people secretly think about you too that you're waiting for something or you're waiting for somebody something like that that's what people secretly think about you with the four of wands being here i said the four of wands the four of cups being here i feel like what people secretly think about you is that you could be very disconnected and you don't love those that love on you like you're rather you're rather focused on your friends work whatever makes you happy and satisfied and stuff like that i feel like you may neglect or some people may feel like you neglect whoever is loving you or trying to offer you a cup of love now this could be romantic platonically take whatever resonates okay but the four of wands being here i feel like what people secretly think about you is that you're very healthy and like you have me have a, a really nice house or you're about to buy a house um um some people may even think that you're shacking up people also like your energy because um you're a blessing that's what people secretly think about you like your energy is unmatched um people want to marry you somebody wants to marry you some of you could be getting married don't quote me on that. That's what some people secretly think about you. Someone could be also be thinking about buying you an engagement ring because they want to propose to you. Someone could also, because I'm, 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 I'm tripping. The Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands is right next to each other. The Ten, of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles is at the top. The Four of Wands is at the bottom. I feel like um, what people secretly think about you is that they want to start a family with you. They want to start saving and building with you, you know? Um, we also have here the hermit card where people um, secretly think about you is that you tend to, you know, like be by yourself so you can heal and you can focus on, you know, shining brightly. When your light starts to dim down or if it feels like you in this low, when you're in this low vibrational state of mind. What people secretly think about you is that you know you detach to the point where you're like you're getting off of social media, you're not staying on the phone, you're not picking up phone calls, you are really focusing on solely yourself and making yourself feel good and better. That's what people secretly think about you, you know? Like you can get off social media and just chill for a while. Also, you could be someone that likes to travel, you could be very well traveled. That's another thing people secretly think about you, that you've been to a lot of places, that you've seen a lot of different things. And mind you probably went to two, three places and it probably wasn't even that extravagant. It's just the way that you carry yourself as someone that has experienced a lot of things in life that's what people secretly think about you but the high priestess being at the um as the overall energy i feel like it's someone that just be knowing like i said you can be very prideful and you sometimes you don't say sorry and you'll crack a joke to make it you know lighten up the mood and stuff like that but sometimes your jokes it hurts so much because your jokes are the truth your joke your jokes is exactly what it is i feel like with the high priestess being here you also someone that could be very um I'm, i don't want to say not spiritual but you could be someone that has dibbled in dab in spirituality excuse me you could have been to a, um you can you may have some of you may have even traveled to go see a, a certain type of either a reader or maybe a resort or something like that i don't know why i'm getting that but yeah i feel like another thing that people secretly think about you is you may work a lot. You may work at home or you may work from a computer or something like that. And people think that you should turn it off and shut it down. Like I said, even though that's something that you do. Damn, here and there. Hold on. Sheesh. That's something that you do here and there with the hermit card being here. Just so you can, like, rejuvenate and regain your energy and stuff like that. But what people secretly think is that that you probably do need some more time to yourself and to get off of social media and detox from, you know... Um, with the moon card being at the bottom of the deck, I feel like what people secretly think about you is definitely someone that it's like, it's kind of like two different people. And I kind of, I kind of agree, but not really, because you could be someone that is like, like one way on the phone and, and un, like you could be one way through text, but another way on phone and a different way in person. You get what I'm saying? A text message, you are, whoever you're texting is perceiving the message, like how they want to perceive it or read that message or receive that message. You know what I'm saying? If you are on the phone with somebody, yeah, you can sit there and talk and hash certain things out. But if someone is yelling and you're yelling, you can't get that information in or you can't get that information in general. When this is a face to face kind of situation, you are able to, you know, be real you are able to show people, like, you know, I, I, I know I, I, I we're all over the place, but I hope you get that. But what people secretly think what you think about you with the moon card at the bottom of the deck is definitely you're very mysterious. You have a lot of shit that you probably don't tell people. People don't know a lot of things about you. And 
you don't want nobody to know certain or specific things about you. So make these messages as clear as possible. What do people secretly think about pile number two? Please make these messages as clear as possible. Give me two cards. People find you very attractive, very beautiful. What do people secretly think about pile number two, universe? What do people secretly think about pile number two? Um, what do people secretly think about pile number two? Also, if you are doing anything on social media or something like that, what people secretly think about you is that you should just, like, close the computer and take a step back and see what happens. You could be someone that's waiting for your moment. You could be waiting for your moment. You could be waiting for, you know, that big break or something like that. I feel like um, people are also thinking with this number 33 blossoming that you are flourishing. You are having a lot of good things coming towards you. You are becoming very successful. Number 37 for wishing. It's like you waited for um, like the three of wands to the ten of pentacles. Like you waited for that ten of pentacles. You waited for that wealth to be coming in because you know you deserve it or it's, it was passed down to you in some way, shape, or form. It's not going to be like that for everybody, but I'm just saying. What people secretly think about you is I feel like um, anything that you put your mind to, you get it times ten. Okay, and that's another affirmation. That's one of my favorite affirmations that I made up. If someone else did that, I ain't never hear it. But every dollar that I spend, I get back times 10. So repeat that affirmation in the mirror. Say it before you put your card in that motherfucking ATM machine because we already know what's up. Every time you swipe in that fucking card and you're not giving out cash, every dollar that I spend, I get back times 10. And then you know you can hit it with the real good shit with no harm to me or others period so pound number three that's all i uh, yeah pound number three that's all i have if it resonated let me know in the comment section i will catch you guys in the next one peace out